AK. I think I've gotten all the bubbles out. That was stressful. I have a newfound respect for people that go and do this at the shopping centers. Oh my gosh, it just started up. I have it too. Oh, and I put it in my mouth and I'm like, oh, that's a bit hard. It was my toenail. I go full circle when I'm on holiday. When I'm in holiday mode, I go very, very cash. And this is just perfect. I mean, the bows. Can we just appreciate this little bow moment here? Yeah. Um, uh, some tech over here. I've got my cohorts. And I've got children running around and I'm now lying in a pile of my own doing. <laughs> my lovelies and welcome back to another vlog another vlog preparing for urkel's vacation sparkle 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 balloons poppers well i'm not on vacation yet as you can tell definitely not on vacation and i definitely won't be looking as glamorous on the journey en route to vacation or during because it's going to be a little bit of a hectic one however good news is thus far we are going so very excited you're going to be coming along for all the packing getting ready and heading off and also whilst we are there so you can come along with us on our family vacation which is very much needed after two years of lockdown anywho and I say anywho a lot so I'm going to try to substitute another word that I will then repeat and use constantly I know it's just one for another isn't it <laughs> maybe a bit pointless now I'm trying to work with the lighting it is a very horrendously humid ugh, day today now let's not stall let's get into what is in this box which looks like from the cover it's carrying explosives don't worry don't worry um, not to alarm any of you it's not well hopefully anyway let's get into this box Is, actually, I'm gonna need explosives to get into this, guys. Hold on a second. Okay, here she is. It's here, and this is the MacBook Pro 14 inch, guys. Yes, she is here, she is finally here. And uh, very much needed. I actually have a lot of, uh, not just admin stuff to do, but uh, not just vlogging stuff, but lots of things to do that I will be needing uh, this. And uh, I was meant to open this quite a while ago, but because of all the craziness over Christmas, New Year, and everything in between, I haven't had a chance. And there's actually a two week period where you can make a return on this and get your full money back. Uh, however, that period has long passed. So uh, hopefully this is uh, all in good condition. Mm. Oof, this is very satisfying. There's this little arrow here. Look at that. That is lush. That is a lush taking off the package, the plastic experience. I don't know about you, but you know the usual experience of having to get your fingernails in and eventually resorting to the scissors because you can't get into the plastic. Well, that was very, very luxury, I have to say. So. I've heard that, um, yeah, there's a lot that goes into, a lot of marketing that goes into um, how things are unboxed with Apple. Like it's a very sensory thing. It's all part of the experience and why people keep coming back for more apparently. Anyway, let's open. Okay. And apparently, see how it's taking a while for it to come off the, to the top of it? And it sort of has this bit of air compression. That's part of the experience as well, the anticipation. Okay. Now, I ordered this in the silver, not the space gray, because apparently the space gray is prone to fingerprints. All right, and what we're looking at here, I have a box full of cables which I'm assuming is my something to do with the charging um, and then we have here up oh, there's the charger and I'm assuming this is the how to get started guide let's have a look 
let us have a look. And it smells like nail polish, which is a bit strange. Alright, hold up. Okay, I find this rather humorous. So I see this really thick booklet looking thing and I'm struggling to get this out. This is just a piece of foam. All you get in here is three pieces of skinny paper. One of them with extra stickers. I'm not sure what that's for in case maybe you scratch the apple on your laptop or for extra decoration, I'm not sure. Um, a one page document on not even setting it up, just basically what's what, uh, which isn't very many. But I guess people can get bombarded by direction, so I guess this is very simple. It says if you want more information about setting up your MacBook Pro, to visit MacBook Pro Essentials for a support guide. So definitely be going there, most likely. I'm not much of a techie. And we have here, wow, just battery, battery disposal, just general information. So, okay, very simple. So if it is this simple, I'm assuming setting it up is going to be just as simple. I have to say, setting up an iPhone is also rather simple. Now let's get into this. All right, let's experience the sensoriness of this. So we're peeling off this wafer-like sticker. Bye bye, my black sticker. And here she is in the silver. And I think I've already scratched it. <laughs> Maybe note to self, don't wear jewelry while handling computer. Um, and here she is. Not very, it's got a little bit of weight to it. And let's have a look at the inside. Well, it's not broken, which is a good thing. Oh my gosh, it just started up. Oh, okay. That was definitely meant to happen. <laughs> Oh, that's very clever, Apple. Oh, and it's already doing its thing. I wasn't planning on setting it up right now. I was like, oh yeah, I'll save it for later. start right away folks I'm not quite ready though so I'll let it say hello for a little bit and then I will officially get started <laughs> I was actually going to save all that faffing about for holidays because hopefully um, I will it's a bit optimistic have some time to sit down and actually work through the little nitty-gritty bits but secondly another exciting thing that I wanted to go through with you is and because I'm going to pick up where I left off playing with this later I um, went to go to the Apple button and then shut down but then I'm like hold on a minute hold on a minute how do I turn it back on that is very essential so I've literally googled how to turn it back on apparently there is no power button but instead you have this button over here which is a touch ID but I haven't set that up so hopefully it'll turn on <laughs> it better. should I do a touch ID I mean Maybe I should set it up. I've just never done it before. It's just not my thing. Okay, next, I am going to officially insert the battery for the Canon G7X, which hopefully for the remainder of this video, I will be filming on this. And I'd love to see how the quality improves. Let's hope. Um, now, first of all, I have to attach the screen protector and do a other few bits and pieces. And I'll actually go through all of the startup things on a separate Video. So if you want to check out how I have set up this camera, you can go and watch it on that video, which I will link up above. So I've just gone and looped it through, and now I'm just going to pull, and voila, we have a camera strap. Now, I recommend keeping this in some kind of a pouch or a, even a sock. I used to keep my camera in a sock uh, back in the day. <laughs> but whatever you have on hand, I might look up if there is some camera storage solutions for this just to protect it. And to protect it even further, I ordered a screen protector with mine. And where is it? Over here. All right, screen protector. And it comes with, this is by Promaster. And it comes with some instructions. Uh, the screen protector, of course, which you actually physically cut to size, which I'm a little bit nervous about. Uh, some cleaning wipes. Uh, you get a few of those. And that's pretty much it. So if you want to nerve-wrackingly watch on as I put the screen protector on, hold tight. Okay, you actually get a few of these in a packet and it comes with little guides. Now, it's actually an odd size because it's fine from uh, the width here to here but it has to go down a bit in length to this line there. So let's cut it and then see what happens next. I believe the first step, should have read those instructions, 
Okay, so obviously give the camera a wipe, then cut it down to size. And apparently there are two adhesive layers, one in the front and one in the back, which I haven't physically felt yet, but there has to be one. Then you use the squeegee card, which is basically this piece of cardboard to sort of slide it on like a piece of contact onto your school books. And then you take the other protective layer off. So let's give this a go. Okay, so one cleaning wipe is wet and the other is dry. So I'm going to begin with my wet. Just get it nice and clean. Okay, and then I will do my dry. And for anyone who's wondering, this is basically just a paper towel. Protector. Okay, that was no bracking. Now we are officially peeling one of the backings off. I'm not sure which one it is though. Okay, so I have removed it and now I have my squeegee card and I'm going to affix this. We're going to, oh my gosh, how do people do this in the shopping centres? Holy moly. Oh my gosh, I'm actually shaking. Okay. Okay, this isn't sticky at all. Have I done something wrong here? Ah, separate. Then put the film on. I see. Okay, that was a little bit anticlimactic. Now we can apply it. Alrighty. Okay. I think I've gotten all the bubbles out for the most part. That was stressful. I have a newfound respect for people that go and do this at the shopping centres. I'm paying for it next time. Okay, and here she is. Now I'm going to give it another wet wipe dry and hopefully it'll look much better. Okay it's on but I think I have actually scratched it with the squeegee card so that's a little bit redundant isn't it but it will protect the screen apparently from breaking which is the most important thing I guess. Okay guys so we've gotten past step one which is uh, adhering the self-protective screen to the backing which has made me sweat and I have realized I need to eat lunch. I have a few appointments so I've got to stop the vlog here for a little bit. I'll pick it up when we have a bit of a play with this camera and then hopefully the rest of the vlog will be on this if I can navigate it. This is just all happening. I'll catch you in a bit. Okay and this is my official first recording on the Canon G7X. I've had a bit of a play with the settings and it is going to take a little bit of getting used to I believe. Um, I also believe I'm a lot more in focus and uh, detailed, which is a little bit alarming, not going to lie. <laughs> However, I just think it's a matter of time of just getting used to this new device. Again, it's been many years since I've used a Canon and I used it exclusively for uh, photography. So uh, this is a little bit new, but that's okay. It's all a matter of perspective and adjusting, guys. Hopefully the microphone is also working well. and. The next clip you will see me getting ready for our holidays and hopefully we'll be able to translate this onto the computer, edit it and get it out to you ASAP. That's right. <laughs> At least my sense of humour is still intact guys, thank god. <laughs> right, bye. Hit the record button. Okay, stopping. Oof, how sexy does the new girl look under the lamplight? Oh! A lot sexier than me, that's for sure. And I have you ba balancing on a assortment of jewelry boxes, which I should really unbox and save a bit of room. But anyway, hello guys, it is the next day. And yes, this is my new look. <laughs> I've popped on a charcoal mask from Dermatologica and this is actually the afternoon. I did an afternoon workout. I was up all night with the baby, didn't get much sleep so I had to run off to work, come back, done a workout. Uh, but now that it has to sit on my face for 10 minutes I thought I would quickly catch a moment to make a holiday 
list. Now we're definitely going to be needing it this year as I am traveling solo guys, that is right. So I'm going to over prepare and make a list for every single child for every single need and that is myself also and not to mention it did occur to me that I have such food preferences like just for myself that my snack bags probably will take up half the luggage. Anyway, <laughs> so I have grabbed a very old Spirex book and handy hint if you want to be saving some paper, I just keep old school books like I'm talking from the high school days or just that I've collected over the years and I've only half finished them. I rip out all the old pages and just keep what's left. So scrap paper never goes to waste. So I'm going to be doing that now and then I don't think I'll be packing today. I'll probably pack over the next few days, uh, but let's get this list started. I'm making the list and I'm checking it twice. <laughs> oh, that's lame. Yeah. So I have just made myself a little curtain wall just to block out all the mess and clutter behind me. I thought I would just check in. This is the morning after making uh, packing lists about what happened this morning. So we were enjoying my famous uh, waffles this morning and uh, they turned out lovely. That was all fine. And I just finished my paleo waffle, which I'd made separately and then frozen. And it so happened that I encountered a little something unexpected in my mouth. Um, so yesterday, let's cut to the long story to make the story shorter i uh lost a toenail uh it had died uh i'd hit my little pinky toe too many times and it just fell off basically just out of nowhere anyway so i'm now left with this little tiny bit of nail left and i happened to just leave it on uh this little commode that we have uh next to me anyway so this morning i was eating my waffles with blueberries and um i dropped a few blueberries on the little bench top that we had and innocently i picked up a little scrap that i thought was also blueberry because it was purple and i put it in my mouth and i'm like oh that's a bit hard it was my toenail <laughs> i ate my toenail guys well i spat it out of course <laughs> But I just thought I'd share that with you because it was very random. It looked like a blueberry because it was a bit purple, had a little bit of blood on it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, one of the most grossest things I've ever done. Yeah, hopefully never to be done again. <laughs> anyway, another way I am preparing for holidays, which I thought I would fill you in, which is my point. Um, I wanted to get my hair done before we left because the greys, like, they are coming back. So... Unfortunately, I could not make an appointment with my regular hairdresser to get my hair done. And I'm very loyal to my hairdresser, so I'm not going to anyone else. So I'm just going to wait it out, even though it needs it. Um, but another way that I'm going to prepare for holidays in terms of self-care is I'm going to finally, after many years, get my front tooth fixed. And ever since I started vlogging, I've been very, very aware of the fact that one of my front teeth is shorter than the other. Now, I did break my tooth, oh goodness me, a good 10 or so years ago, and uh, I got that repaired, but then over the years, because I do grind my teeth, it has been worn down, and not to mention sometimes just the kids bumping me, like, or, you know, pulling my hair and all kinds of things, I've just accidentally sort of bit down on my front tooth, and it's cracked even more. So I've become very, very self-conscious about it, and uh, it, I think it's finally time, now that I finally have an appointment, uh, to get this fixed. So... In the next clip, you will see, hopefully, a brand new tooth. Now, I am very scared. Like, I do not like the dentist. Like, it's really uncomfortable. Like, I have sensitive teeth. Like, oh, I'm not looking forward to it. But I also know that it has to be done. Um, so, this is the before. Oh, pardon me. A bit of blueberry there. <laughs> and then I will show you the after. gosh I can't believe it guys like really look at that I have a tooth and you know what that only took what 10 minutes <laughs> absolutely bizarre that 10 minutes that I've put off for so many years could just change change one's outlook <laughs> 
Anyway, I am rather disheveled and you're probably thinking, girl, why didn't you run a comb through that hair? Well, I'm off to work and I'll just probably twosle my fingers through it just to look a bit more presentable. Um, and then I have to catch up on a lot of holiday shopping. Sorry, that was just uh, my husband because we were a bit of a car situation this morning because we needed baby seats, etc just so I could make this very, very early appointment. So what I was going to say is after work, if time permits, I need to go and do some pre-holiday shopping. So I need to be topping up on some skincare. I need to go and uh, get some more filming equipment. I need a case for this camera. Yeah, I'm actually going to be taking my camera with me, maybe giving it a bit of a test drive. And I have had a few stares from people um, using my camera in public, but hey, this is what I do. I have no shame. <laughs> Anyway, I will catch you later for some pre-holiday shopping. I'm very excited and hopefully I don't get sidetracked, but knowing me, I probably will. Post work and for anyone who is interested, I have these things called a car lunch, which is basically lunch on the run, which I do quite often. And lately I am eating like an absolute aristocrat, so very rich. So I'm having cheese and crackers and some dark chocolate by Mosia Roth, 85%. This stuff is the bomb. And a coffee to go. Mm, very groovy. A bit too groovy for me though at my age. Now I was considering this um, but in the beige colour, wouldn't hurt to perhaps try it on. And here are my sides. But I'm looking for the tan version. I've got the black one on now, but I'm looking for the tan. So let's see if they've got those in stock too. Okay, so I... Sorry, I was wearing a mask. Okay, so I couldn't resist stopping in to cotton on as you saw. And I thought I could pick out a few bits that I have been eyeing up online to see if I've tried. Number one, are these silky Santorini pants, which I was hooing and ahhing about, uh, because they haven't been exactly growing the views of these. But anyway, and a little short top combination. And this, I thought, would be a great beachy option. I wanted the beige version, so if they don't have it here, I'll grab that. I'm just doing it for size. I also saw this very, very cute little baguette bag. I mean, very cheap Fendi, but still super cute in the corduroy. And I have just discovered the perfect pair of undies. These are, let's have a look. These are the invisible, we're gonna focus. Lovely. These are the invisible shorty brief. So, 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 so comfortable. Mm, and sorry about the nails, I am going to do them. Very cute, again sized up and um, very cute. I don't know why, but I love this bag and this will be great for awesome as well. And yes, makeup's not done, hair is not done, but hey, this is real life. And I'm out of focus. Okay, there we go. Getting used to the new technology. So we may have to continue filming um, with my phone, but I finally figured out how to adjust the exposure. So I'm learning, see, learning on the job. Uh, these are the shorts, the pinstripe shorts. I might even have to size up in them as well. The sizes are running a little bit tighter for me at the moment. Uh, and lastly, I'm going to try on this little number here. I am also very quickly learning that I have to move very slowly with this camera as it wants to focus all the time. Okay, I have adjusted the focus, so hopefully it shouldn't be trying to follow my face everywhere. Just tried on the orange pinstripe dress, which is very low at the back. So I would have to go browless for this, and I don't know if I'm prepared for that because, yeah, you know, the girls, breastfeeding, you know, the whole bit. Anyway, I just thought I would 
show you this on and this is very weird. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. Okay, we have to move the the camera has died. <laughs> anyway, this is a very strange little groovy outfit I picked up. Uh, I don't know how I'm feeling. I don't think I'm cool enough for this. I kind of like it at the same time. Like I like the bagginess of it. Um, I'm yeah, my camera died. That's right, honey. I kind of like it with this bag. Beep, beep, beep. Um, I don't know. I kind of like this. It's very really different to me. Like, it's like this oversized sort of look. I don't know. I'm not sure if you should tuck this in. I don't think you would. I must say that this morning is looking very promising. The sun is out, it's a little bit windy, and it is also waffle morning. So before we get into all our packing and other preparation bits we have to do today, uh, waffle is the imperative word here. And I have run out of my coconut yogurt, which I always, always have with my waffles. I mean, the girl knows what she likes. And I think I'm that desperate that uh, whilst my husband is up and he is off i'm going to dash off to the supermarket and do the craziest craving run i've ever done and that is coconut yogurt you know those runs that you do when you want ice cream or you know something naughty she wants the coconut yogurt that's what i need i need to have it with my waffles or i'm not eating them i just can't so <laughs> i need to have it for the dipping you know it's just part of part of the experience so i'm going to dash off and i shall return when i have the coconut yogurt hopefully in hand and that was so well worth the trip. This was the last Koryo on the shelf and in my favorite flavor being, of course, classic vanilla bean. And I have just popped my paleo waffle out from the freezer because I only make a batch of that, say, once a month. And uh, I enjoy it with my coconut yogurt, but I had to run out and get it because I cannot enjoy my waffle without my coconut yogurt. And of course, as you know, my obsession with this nut butter and I've gone for a uh, beachy hair today uh, since I'm feeling very beachy <laughs> oh that could be taken either way couldn't it beachy is in you know like the beach <laughs> by the seaside if you know what I mean ladies and gentlemen if you're watching and I also got a chance to finish off my pedicure from the other night so I have nice fresh fluorescent summer toes which I like to go nice and bright in summer and I'm going to do the same for my fingers as well I'll probably do that at the last minute and I am feeling jewelry today I've even got my good old shells that I discovered well rediscovered in my old stash of costume jewelry and I'm just in the mood today I'm in the mood to vlog because I have my new teeth and they're intact we actually had a little incident yesterday and the incident was um I was in the car driving back from work and I had a bit of cheese and crackers which is my fantastic little indulgence that I like to do uh, when I don't get time to have lunch and I took one bite and next thing you know part of my tooth had already come off so uh 
yesterday evening for the dentist's last appointment of the day I was able to get it fixed and so far it has been wonderful and overnight I was really nervous that I would grind it off but it has stayed lovely and intact so I'm feeling like a brand new woman today now what we are going to do officially is get started on the packing and I thought I would do that in the form of the kids suitcases first because any clothes that are missing we have time to do the laundry and get that out of the way so in saying that let's see if we can do a little time lapse on this new little camera baby here and I also need I didn't get to finish my shopping as you probably saw and I have to go back to the shops today I actually really want to go to Ted's cameras I went to JB Hi-Fi and um, they just didn't quite have what I needed in terms of the camera equipment. So I want to go to Ted's Cameras. I've had a really good experience with them before. And I just want to talk to somebody who just knows their product. So we are going to do that today after a little escapade and our little coconut yogurt run this morning, which was absolutely hilarious. Anyway, without further ado, let's get packing. Now we've encountered a problem. The problem being I am down here and the kids suitcases are up there so we're going to make an attempt to climb this very dangerous mountain of clothes horses pillows noodles and miscellaneous crap uh, to get to these suitcases just uh yeah wish me luck okay i guess poking with a stick it has to be oh goodness me almost got it uh -huh. All right, I better turn this off before I drop everything. All right, so which one do you want? McQueen. You want Lightning McQueen? All right, and we can then have Thomas for the other little one. Yes. Okay, I'm armed with rocket fuel. Cue the time lapse. Okay, now it's a matter of playing a game of takeaway container and getting that into this tiny space so let's see how this works out okay sweet relief that actually worked and i used a very old and tried and true technique and that is the rolling technique you roll your clothes into little sushis and they always fit so my little assistant here uh who has been very helpful uh has been crawling under the bed and it's kind of pointed this out but uh look at the amount of dust he's collected with his lovely spiky hair thank you very much dear <laughs> Zip. Good. Officially, we have one packed suitcase. Looks like a real car from here, actually. This is fantastic. Riding, look at. Yeah, you probably could. <laughs> okay, so this is my first time uh, filming in the new setup with the new camera. So let's see how this goes hopefully you can see me okay anyway i'm now after doing uh the boys packing i'm going to pop out to get uh the camera equipment and return the stuff that i got from jb i did actually try a few things out they just weren't the right thing and the staff there and oh anyway i'm going to a proper camera store nip out there and then we have to tackle my packing so that's another story and that'll be a bit fun guys because there's a few cheeky delivery stuff in there too if you, if you knew in you would have seen my cheeky shopping experience from from earlier so anyway i'll go through all of that with you when i return i just thought i would quickly show you my outfit of the day which is this very old dotty sort of pin-up jumpsuit and i love the fact that it really came at the waist and out with the button so it gives that nice you know flow over the hip area and i'm taking the new baby out for a stroll and uh, i already used her once she's been very very useful and i uh, had a few nice comments on this lovely new piece as well and just some simple uh again costume jewelry and um oh yeah <laughs> cotton on cushy slides all right guys let's go well that's first my uh camera started flashing a red sun at me and apparently it, it got too hot so uh the poor little dear and i had to pop on the aircon to make sure that i'd cooled down sufficiently so some time has passed we are back we're going to continue this very exciting little holiday get ready with me and I think I'm actually going to use the new little tripod for this so let's take a look ok 
comes in this nice canvas bag or nylon bag more rather zip and here she is in all her finery ah very spider-man like got a little stilts but still quite a sturdy plastic the man was trying to sell me a steel frame one but uh tell you what not too bad extends like so obviously it's got your clips here extend your legs out and then you've got your swivel um, head bit, which I will show you when I set it up, actually. Okay, I switched to uh, my phone for this just to show you the camera in situ. And yes, you can flip the screen up or down. Now, I've actually balanced it on my Mac Pro um, <laughs> box because now I can see the disadvantage of height. The other one was probably about, gee maybe 20 centimeters taller and now I can see how that could be an advantage so this one's going to need a bit of propping up if I want it to actually work um however it uh it'll do the trick for now and I'm just trying to gain a bit of perspective on this for my little try on haul uh, of the bits and pieces I picked up at the shops you know as I like to do impulsively okay i better keep this brief because the camera likes to overheat apparently this is a problem with this camera this is the Canon G7X Mark III. Now, very quickly, this is the tank on, and I'm not trying the white on because I have a bit of makeup on, and I don't want to risk getting it dirty, but this is definitely going in my luggage. I think this is a great basic, just paired with uh, a bit of a uh, baggy, wide leg jean situation. Now, it is rather cropped. There's a little bit of belly there, but if you have a really ultra-high-waisted pair of jeans, such as shown here, that have a nice, loose waistband, this can be rather flattering. And this is how it is at the back. Uh, it really gives a lovely shape and great for somebody with broad shoulders as it creates a narrower silhouette at the bottom. Now, these, if you can see here, are the trousers. Now, on their own, I feel like they're a bit basic. However, I picked up a little something in this giant bag and this is the holiday bag. This was intended to come with me. In fact, it is going to come with me and I'm going to unbox it in my holiday vlogs. Uh, but for now, I got this on a special, pardon the ruffling, and here she is. So it is the matching top, and this sold out horrendously fast. It is oversized, but I thought together, as a bit of a loungewear moment, ooh, 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 pull the sleeves up, and we have a nice little loungewear set. Now, ideally, I've got the buttons still done up. <laughs> Ideally, I would like to wear this with more of a nude knit underneath, I think as a more autumn, winter loungewear look, but I'm very happy in this little slinky number because it is so, so comfortable, guys. And I love that swooshy feeling and my camera's blinking at me. Okay, I couldn't resist. I just had to try this knit on. I think this is a lot better, actually. It hides a bit of that tummy area, that uncomfortable area for me. And uh, just skims um, over that area and now it's just a lovely flowy uh, set of trousers and I think it goes a lot better now that I have a longer top on. Here we go for this slinky loungewear look. Anyway, that's it for now in terms of what I got in preparation for this holiday. The next clip will be a little bit of packing and so forth and then I think we might uh, wrap up hopefully. I also have to do the baby's packing I remembered. Anyhow, I will see you in a bit. Okay people, so today is packing day and I am looking a little bit like sunshine with this yellow dress on and I'm actually considering taking this away with me. Anyway, I just thought I would take you through my outfit of the day. I might do my hair later but at the moment it is chucked up in a bun. We have to dash off and do a little bit of shopping for my husband because he has decided he has run out of clothes and we need to restock. So we're going to run out really quick, see if we can find anything. And I have to say, I'm so disappointed in menswear and I really feel sorry um, for the guys out there because there's nothing much, I don't know, nothing much for the kind of clean cut sort of guy. There's a lot of like band t-shirts and rugged and like really sloped shoulders and baggy but my husband doesn't really do that so yeah hopefully we can have some success today anyway let me take you through my outfit really quickly i got some old uh chains here i think these could be mng that i got from the iconic 
and just a simple chain bracelet from Ioza, some very large hoops and some very colourful um, bangles which is the set that I got from Sports Girl many years ago. And then on my tootsies I have my Los Cabos shoes um, which is great to be taking them out again and enjoying them in the sunshine with some fresh toes and yes I will be having some fresh nails and on that note I am thinking of doing something special with them if I have time if being and time being the imperative word here so, oh and also I'll be styling this up on our little outing with my Loewe uh, basket bag and this ladies and gentlemen is the outfit of choice for today let's get to it oh we have some eager people down there screaming okay let's go I've just seen a fantastic cutlery set because we were going for a gold look in the kitchen excuse the nails I'm actually going to leave them off camera um it's called the Nolan and it comes in 16 piece but I'm wondering if it's an 18 out of 10 stainless steel so I might ask but look at the, the really nice gradient on the side I also found this nighty that I ordered online on sale and they had trouble working the items but it's clearly here so I might grab this too Ooh, very nice. And I'm really liking the ribbed uh, glasser as well trend. Very, very cute. Well, this is a different position. I'm not used to being the assistant, but it's rather lovely getting to uh, shop without having to spend my money. So <laughs> we've, done it. we've done well so far. Okay, we are back and uh, all the mask wearing has made my uh, lipstick rub off, which is no surprise. So I'm just going to touch it up now. I'm just wearing um, Aldi's Liqueur Lipstick in Natural Touch. It's like a lip gloss, like a metallic. It's really, really fun, this one. Is it going to focus? No, not today. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd touch it up. And whilst we were out and my husband finally, finally found some clothes by the way, uh, I noticed some lack of mask wearing, which was really disappointing by a lot of patrons, and uh, I was just not into it, so I'm like, you know what, I mean, we spent quite a while there, only because my husband just really needed the opportunity to just do something for himself, and we were successful, so we bought him a little loot, which I will quickly show for you. I will quickly just run through what he did get, and then we have to get to the packing, guys. Let's go. This is the aim of the game. This was all a big distraction today, and I'm just like, honey, packing, children, life, you know. Anyway, I'll show you. Oh my gosh, this Aldi lip gloss in the peachy color tastes exactly like marshmallows. It doesn't quite smell like marshmallows, but when you put it on, mmm, like a marshmallow in the mouth, guys. Mm mm mm. Okay, enough of that. Now, let's get to my husband's little clothing haul. And I've got a few things for myself as well, just practical things whilst I was there. So I'm going to take those and put them aside, and then I will sort of go through those at the end there. Now, he picked up this lovely stripy shirt from Country Road, um, just in a light blue and white stripe, which I thought was very, very becoming. Again, linen. Good quality you really can't go wrong with country road then he also picked up these lovely shorts from there and they have this little floral design on them so this little orange flowerettes in the middle or um, stamens in the middle I thought that was very very cute then he also picked up in this bag a lovely linen jacket. I'm kind of jealous because I want a good linen jacket and it's been really hard to get my hands on one so I was like damn son you know. <laughs> anyway you know what if it fits me I mean we can share. We share everything else. We might as well share clothing. I mean why not. <laughs> Don't know how he'll feel about that. Anyway 
then we did a bit of a haul at Maya. And so this is from, I think we did mainly industry when we were at Maya. So we found these shorts, which I picked out, so I'm very proud of. We found these shorts, which are a lovely floral design. We also found some really good basics because we wanted some teas. So we found this really light blue tea pink one or a salmon colored one in the same design just a crew neck and then another basic white tee really really thick good quality breathable cotton fantastic then lastly we went around a few stores and gosh that's right where was this one neverland we went to neverland which sounds very michael jackson or albus presley whoever lived there first anyway and my husband found, found quite a few things. Again, very like summer wear. So he found uh, this t-shirt in just a basic beige which, with a nice logo and some on the back here. And this is by a brand called American. American. It must be French. Oh, American Paris. Well, there you are. And then you've got the Nomadic paradise i've never heard this brand before i picked this out as well because i felt like the charcoal is a really good staple color because it's not black it's not gray it's just sitting right in the middle then he also picked up a singlet which is again by americane same color got a nice big a on the back um, which does a lot for the shoulders and then lastly he picked up this nice pair of i'd call like a kind of a bit like a clay pink short okay and whilst i was there i managed to pick up a few things that i will be needing before we head out or away should i say and i picked up these lovely earrings from um <clears throat> cotton on and they are gold plated and they're doing a lot more gold plated jewelry um lately which is really nice to see and i just loved the thickness of these hoops so i am definitely bringing those because i need a good chunky hoop <clears throat> and i've been on the hunt for one for quite some time so this hopefully will be the solution i also picked up more of my collagen powder by neutral organics love this stuff completely seen a difference in my skin tone fantastic then i also picked up a new bottle of the red can uh, brown lights shampoo and it just color extends your brown highlights keeps them nice and natural looking then this was a bit of an impulse buy so i was heading out of the healthware store i was on the hunt for my protein powder which i still need to buy and i found this uh donut mix by a company called macro mike it was on special for five dollars so i was like you know what why not i do love me a bit of paleo healthy treats so i picked it up so i'll give it a go at a later stage probably not on holidays and then i picked up a backless well a stick on silicone bra situation uh, from bras and things and it's actually a shop that quite to test the quality of the stuff there is very synthetic it's really not my jam but this is where i originally got my stick on bras they actually don't make them anymore this is like a very thin silicone situation but i need something i just can't go without one so the other one has given up after years of use so this is what we are dealing with there's one more thing i did pick up something in country road now this was on sale with a further 20 percent off and it is a set of their seashell printed PJs and this style like just with the bow in the middle I just thought it was so feminine and floaty so I will quickly try that on for you before I pack it away in my luggage and it's really floofy and it's tiered and it's just princess like and I just love a pair of feminine pajamas it just makes me feel like a woman so to speak like Shania Twain would say oh god <laughs> anyway I'll pop this on really quickly and that is what I picked up for myself but without further ado let's get to the packing because that is the priority is it not guys you'd think so <laughs> you'd think so but you wouldn't think so considering the tone of this video thus far okay guys and this is the seashell nighty on and oh my gosh I think it's a bit of a thing in our family we either buy new knitwear when we're on holidays or we just take sorry not knitwear nightwear with us on holidays or we buy some when we're out we just love a good little loungewear moment and this is just perfect i mean the bows can we just appreciate this little bow moment here so so cute <laughs> 
and it's just the perfect length. I'm not sure if this is adjustable. No, it's not adjustable. Um, and I do still have a bra underneath, but that is very nicely, the girls are very nicely concealed because this is also double lined. So this is just so floaty and cute and just, oh, right up my street. And it is cotton and who could want anything more out of some nightwear? Honestly, I'm feeling a bit girly and very, very nice. In fact, I actually don't want to take this off for the rest of the video. Do you know what? I'm not going to. That's it. I'm going to be packing in my PJs. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'm just trying on a few samples of clothing, as you do. You know, when you're packing, you're thinking, does this still fit? It's been a year since I've worn this stuff. So, this is a little old cohort, uh, a gingham cohort from Seed, which still just, just fits, guys. Um, and you might think, Opal, this is not your style. I mean, the pink fur, the denim, but I absolutely love this jacket. And when I go on holidays, I summer it up. I go full on surf chick. I wear the denim, the ripped jeans. Like I go full surf girl when I'm on holiday. When I'm holiday mode, I go very, very cash. With a bit of flair, of course. Anyway, I have my current selection on the bed, which hasn't gotten me too far. So I have my undergarments, uh, some tech over here. I've got my Awards, which some of them I haven't even worn yet. I have some date night slash um, just summer wear maxis florals and another date night option here. And I've got some PJ's robe, but there is still a long way to go, folks. So I will tune in back with you when I am putting everything in the suitcase and uh, then we'll wrap things up. Okay, potential date outfit. Uh, Number two. Actually, you haven't even seen number one. <laughs> anyway, this was lying at the back of my wardrobe, never been worn. I had had my eyes outed for ages. It came and then I was like, oh, it's the wrong size. I got another size. And then when I finally tried it on, I'm like, oh, is it a bit too much? Yes. The answer is yes, it is too much. Is it too much for a day and night? I don't think so. <laughs> so this is coming. Okay, so we have narrowed it down to this little pile of shoes, which is actually rather good for me. Okay, and we have also, well, I wouldn't exactly call it narrowed down. I thought I'd just take everything out. I've tried a lot of stuff on and I've just kind of thrown it on the bed. Um, oh my gosh. All right, this is, this is a little bit of a dog's breakfast, I have to say. So my next mission is to get all of this into a suitcase. And that hasn't even covered toiletries, accessories, etc. And I've got children running around and I'm now lying in a pile of my own doing. <laughs> of my own doo-doo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I'll pop him on a time lapse and let's get to it. In the meantime, I'm rather enjoying this nighty, so you know, at least I have an incentive to do this. But this is my first holiday where I'll be sort of semi-vlogging throughout uh, some of the days, so I guess I'm being prepared for every situation. It's a bit overboard. Yes. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, or let's just roll with it. Let's let's just get on with the show. And I am also taking one singular book to read, and that is a book by Harlan Coben. I recently got into his My Myron Bolitar series. I think I'd read the second or third one of the series, and it was absolutely a page turner. I loved it, and I love his style as well. So this follows this man called Myron Bolitar, and uh, what he gets into, <laughs> incidentally. A bit of a thriller detective, but a bit of humor thrown in. Really, really good. And I haven't started the first book of the series so I'm going to take this along and hopefully fingers crossed I get a chance to actually you know expand my mind and read something okay so we have done a bit of a cull we have <laughs> we have all the undies undergarments playing clothes backyard clothes in here and then all the lovely date night finery over here and well 
we're not going to get up to much of that let's be fair but there's probably more of those fun clothes than the practical ones <laughs> just because it's holidays and you know what you only live once you only live once to enjoy your uh, fashion so why not now we've been locked in COVID for so long let's enjoy our fashion now this pile behind me is my jackets and warm wear because it does get a bit uh, warm uh, sorry it does get a bit cold down the coast sometimes so that's going to go in a separate bag and that is along with my sun hats and I think that's it my tech is going to go in another bag then it's just toiletries accessories and I think I might tackle that later tonight if not in the morning so I'm going to sign off the vlog here guys thanks for coming along for all the packing shenanigans all the craziness I've still got to pack the baby's clothes oh my gosh I just remembered but at least I'm making progress and I will see you when we are on the road en route Take care, my lovelies. Anything that I featured in this video that you may be interested in will be linked in the description box. All right, take care. Bye.